Hi everyone, my name is Christina McCurley and I'm an artist and a quilter. When you think of a quilt, a warm blanket like this one probably is what you think of, but art quilts can be completely different. In fact, they're about as different as each person that makes one. Sometimes they show pictures of people or events. Sometimes they're really pretty places, like in this landscape of a beautiful beach that I would love to go visit. How about you? Sometimes they don't really look like anything at all and are what we call abstract, like this one. They can be decorated with beads and buttons and all kinds of little things. Sometimes we even do what's called confetti and use tiny little pieces of fabric to fill in the shape and create pictures like in these trees. And sometimes we make enormous quilts like this one my friend Susan did of this fantastic crocodile. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes on how I made this quilt, Ophelia's Night at the Masquerade. To begin any of my quilts, I first start with a picture. This was the original image that I used to create Ophelia. So I printed it out on a printer and then I use a special paper and trace it onto a foundation. Then I cut out tiny pieces of fabric in different colors and glue them down to my foundation fabric inside the lines. It's just like color by number except for instead of using crayons, I'm using fabric. Little by little, you'll see more and more of the image begin to be filled up as I add different colors. I use darker colors to make it look like shadows and lighter colors to look like light is hitting her face. I added different colors to her lips to make her lips have a 3D look as well. To create her beautiful mask, I took a large piece of black fabric and cut out each little space. Then I layered underneath it different colors in different patterns of fabric to give it a neat rainbow effect. You'll notice that every little bit more and more is added to it until it's all finally in place just the way that I like it. When it's all done I use a hot iron and iron it down and it all sticks in place. You can see here I've fixed her eyes a little bit and she is all done and ready for sewing. I created some butterflies doing the same technique, black on top of different colors of fabric underneath. You can see they kind of look like jewels. I think they turned out really pretty. All of them are cut out and ready to be applied to the background. To make the background, I cut out very narrow strips of fabric in different colors, starting with black and then navy blue, purple, and then to lighter pinks. And I laid them down on the back of the fabric with a special glue. And you can see that it goes from each color. Little bit by little was added. There's probably a few hundred strips there. You can see here is where she will fit into that space when it's all done. Now my favorite part, all of the sparkly thread. I love to use glittery thread on my quilts. I think it makes them look so nice. I have lots and lots of thread colors to choose from, and I tend to choose ones that match the fabric that I'm sewing over. Here you can see how I use sparkly threads on her lips, and how I change each color of thread for each area that it's stitched onto. The sections, her hair and her forehead, you can see the different colors in each of those show up very nicely. This is the back of her. So this is the underside that you would never normally see, but all of that white and light colored area are actually stitches on the other side that you do see. So this is the underside or what I call the ugly side. This process is called thread painting even though there's no paint but you can see here the after picture is on the left and before I started using thread is on the right hand side. I added some pretty butterflies to the background
and then gave her a pretty dress to wear to the masquerade. Once she was all sewn up, I sew a special sleeve on the back so I can hang her on the wall in my office and look at her all the time. That's how I create my art quilts and I've had a wonderful time sharing with you today. I look forward to sharing with you again and seeing what you come up with.